I used to live with a tremendous burden of self-consciousness. Every time I was talking to someone, I was doing so through a kind of filter. I was never just open and present and relaxed. And instead I was always projecting this face here where I am. And if you do that, if this is how you go through life, you are essentially always experiencing life through a kind of filter. You're never really taking reality in as it is. Everything is sort of compared to and put into this context of you being here as a person. And of course the result of that is that interacting with people, speaking with someone, let alone with a group of people, is quite anxiety inducing. There's always the sense that you are vulnerable in the center of it all. You are prone to being judged and laughed at and if this is what you believe then of course naturally the smart thing to do is isolate yourself and avoid interacting with people as much as you can. But of course that's not the only way we can go through life. There's a vastly different way of encountering other people and situations. We don't have to maintain this excessive need of always projecting a face here where we believe ourselves to be. There's the possibility of just being open, awake, responsive, integrated, interconnected with what we are experiencing. And there was one day in particular where this different way of living became so obvious to me where it wasn't just a nice theory, but it actually was a felt experience. On that day, I was holding a presentation in front of a group of people. But as I was looking out at everybody, something suddenly felt quite different. The sense of being stared at, the sense of being an object in somebody else's perception, wasn't there. There was just this spontaneous openness, this unboundedness, this freedom and wholeness that was felt in that moment. And I could look at everybody and relate to everybody without this filter of my face being there. There wasn't this projection going on anymore, where while I was talking, I was also imagining what I look like and what other people think of me in this instant. Instead, there was just this dynamic interaction, just the possibility of being there. It felt like a tremendous burden was lifted off my shoulders. And ever since then, talking to people has been quite different. Now, it doesn't mean that when this realization takes place, that all of a sudden you will switch from being an introverted person to being extremely extroverted. Your personality will probably just broadly stay the way it is. But this acute, painful amount of social anxiety, of self-consciousness, is very likely to disappear when you realize that what you essentially are is not just a body, is not just some entity hiding behind a face or identical with a face. What you essentially already and always are is just this unbounded, awake, aliveness. This presence which is here right now, which is aware but not separate from experience. And those are not just nice sounding terms. It's actually possible to live from this true nature of us. We can drop this habit of constantly projecting a self-construct here. People are sometimes worried that if this stops, they won't be able to interact with the world anymore. But going back to my example of giving this presentation, I was very much still functioning on a relative level. If anything, I could finally speak with a kind of freedom and relaxation that I always wanted to have. Previously, it almost felt like I was blocked from this essential creativity and openness and humor which I knew was there. 
And when the self-projection stopped, all these beautiful qualities could just come forth in a natural and dynamic way. And this is a possibility for all of us, even though the way we express ourselves may differ. The sense of wholeness and completeness is inherent in our true nature. And we all have the capacity to recognize that, shift into it and live from that which we already are. Do let me know in the comments if anything about this remains unclear. You can also contact me through my website, which is linked in the description. Other than that, you can subscribe to my channel if you want to stay up to date with my latest videos. Thanks for watching and I will see you right here next time.